After 19 years, he got his day in Brussels with his experts. He put his case to the Commission. 2006 from Dan Brennan is first, and I'll give him the floor as first speaker on that petition. Asking him to be fairly brief and perhaps to bring in other petitioners on the same matter. You have the floor. Petitions Committee, thank you for inviting me here today to update you on the latest developments on our farm. Um, here with me today is my, my wife, Breed, um, Mary White, three veterinary consultants, Tom Slevin, Michael Lamb, Jim Crilly, and also environmental scientist Simon White from Limerick University, who will speak briefly on the findings. As you may recall, I brought my case before you three years ago. My farm animals have stunted growth. At times, they have weight loss and poor milk yield, and there is also severe environmental damage to the farm. The study carried out by University College Dublin observed periods of good weight gain followed by a period of negative growth rate. At the same time as the weight loss occurred in the cattle, there was damage noticed in the foliage of the trees on the farm in the area where the cattle were grazing. Very significant levels of cadmium and sulphur were found in the bloods at the same time as the weight loss occurred. Your committee made recommendations to the Minister for Agriculture, Mary Cochran, and when this, this weight loss would occur, liver biopsies, post-mortems, a digestibility study and environmental monitoring would be carried out. These recommendations were ignored except for two post-mortems which took place five months later. Less than a year ago, we were told by the researchers of the present report that the problem was cadmium poisoning caused by pollution, and we would have the official report within a month. The official report has now just been published, and although the high cadmium results are recorded, we are astounded to hear that the, exec the executive summary questions the, val the validity of their own data. Madam Chairman, my name is Mary White. I'm a Green Party elected member of our, the Irish Parliament. Several years ago, I wrote the original petition for Dan Brennan, a constituent of mine, that was accepted by the President of the EU Parliament at a hearing at the Petitions Committee. Following on from the Department of Agriculture's most recent report, we now know what I've always known, that Dan Brennan is an exemplary farmer, and the pollution on his farm does not come on his farm. The most recent report from the Department of Agriculture leaves many questions unanswered. I am primarily concerned with three issues. That the elevated blood cadmium levels have been excluded from this report. And I believe that the arbitrariness of the decision to exclude the elevated blood cadmium results, thereby eliminating the need to explain them, is a major limitation of the report. I am also concerned that the Irish Environmental Protection Agency was not tasked to check for cadmium when it granted a license, an integrated pollution control license, for a nearby brick factory. Thirdly, the report commissioned by the Department of Agriculture and interagencies was not peer-reviewed, and I do believe that that is a major omission. I am asking the Petitions Committee to keep this petition open, to work with the Irish Government, and to pinpoint exactly where this pollution is coming from. Dan Brennan needs closure after 19 years. Dan Brennan needs justice. That is why we are here today. Thank you.